And now, brought to you by Sprint. Great to have you with us on 2K Sports. Round one of the NBA playoffs has officially begun. At the midway point, the home team is playing very well. Nice ball movement offensively, making the extra pass, and it's paying off. And the visitors still keeping at it. Hitting their free throws at a high percentage has been a key factor for them. That's it for me here in the studio. Time to send you back out to Kevin Harlan and the crew for the start of the third quarter. The Sprint Halftime Report, presented by Sprint. And we welcome you back to our coverage of round one in the NBA playoffs. Okay, here we go. Here we're back again. Go on, five Just keep number eleven in for a few minutes. Just to give uh Izumi some time to rest up. Number six. Nice block. Number five. Six. Nice. He's got 14. Absolutely on fire from beyond the arc. Yeah, that's where he's getting his points. Number four. Gives him the lead pass. Nice. Got they get nice. Nice yet again. <laughs> that one okay. goes down. But offensively, there's one of four to start the third quarter. Second half just getting started, about a minute played. Number seven. Off target from the wing. He's making jump shot. Okay. Sight you see very often. I mean, he has a great feel for that jump shot, especially when he's open. Number eight. Smooth as silk on the floor. Whenever you're caught in the middle. <laughs> Tim, a little nod from his teammate after the basket. And we're just about a minute and a half into the third quarter of basketball. Number seven. The nice shot move. The baseline is right on target. He's got 22. You know, all coaches hate defensively when you give up easy points in the paint. That, that's inexcusable. So that, that's the reason for this timeout here. I think it came down to the fact they were getting beat inside. And that's why the coach called White. timeout. White. White. Okay. Number six, the feather really? touch on the finger roll. Beautiful. Well, we've seen that more than a few times. An easy bucket in the lane. Yeah, the interior defense simply has been lifeless. There's a screen to the middle. Number 13. And a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for two. Now that we have a moment, let's see who the best passing teams were in the regular season. You know, sometimes it's tough to give up the ball to a teammate, but the good teams do it. They don't settle for just a good shot. They're looking for the best shot. And these guys have been unselfish all season long. So he gets them both. Into the third we go. Two minutes in now. Gone three of six in the third quarter. 50% from the field. Number five. Ah, uh, don't. Coming off a perfectly placed assist. Ten points for him. One of the reasons they're behind is because we haven't seen enough of that. He needs to become a bigger part of the offense. Lock it six. Number seven. A touch over uh, two and a half minutes of basketball played here in the third quarter. Number six. And the shot is good. 23 points. Sometimes I don't understand why, you know, players. I didn't even ask for a charge, but they do that automatically. It's like it's in the game. Gone. I don't know why. To strike the second half. They set the pick. Throws it up high. Phenomenal alley oop slam right there, guys. They're taking advantage, Clark, of a team that looks lost out there. Ooh, yeah, this is threatening to get kind of ugly out here. 
gotten five of eight shots to fall for them in the third quarter. A nice 62% from the field. Number four, blocked. Second nice chip. move. Nice move. That was a nice move. 12 points for him. And they're beginning to fall apart a little bit defensively, especially inside. Well, that's four straight buckets now at the rim. Second half here, and we're just over three and a half minutes into it. Shoots it, number 13. Oh, and nice. Goes in as he is fouled, it'll be three points if he converts at the line. He's created some good opportunities for himself and made the most of them. He's had four chances at the line, made them all. Okay, that's what, that was good. Run six of ten from the field in the third quarter. From deep. 26 points for him. There you go. That's the stroke we saw in the first half. From the stripe. Shoots the three. Oh, I thought I can. Will not go. Gotten two thirds of their three pointers to fall tonight. They're six of nine overall. Number eight. Target with the jump hook. He operates pretty well in traffic, guys, but that was a tough play to finish off. Number seven. Ah. Target from outside. Why? Why can't I exactly strike time that correctly? He had one three ball in the first half. Still bagels in the second. I like the call. I thought the defense was moving there. Okay, let me just substitute. Um, we'll see me back in. Yeah, I think he slid underneath. Good blocking call that trip. Six on the shot clock, number eight. And here's the rejection. Another foul, really. And the whistle stops gameplay. It's not a clean block shot. Instead of shooting foul, and we'll see free throws coming up right here. Nice work to get inside and draw the foul. Yeah, it's obvious the defense not going to allow many easy layups. They're going to make you earn it from the line. You know, it's been a bad day for them at the line today as a whole, and far too often, that's the case for this team. Gone four of seven to get things started here in the second half. To the inside. Nice. Turns off the pick and hammers it home. One of the oldest plays in basketball made that dunk possible. That's right. A terrific screen right there. Steve allowed him to lose his man and rock it to the rim. Now, don't you love to see players working together in that, that fundamental play? Fun to watch. Number five. Touch off the glass. Why? He's got 15. Why do I keep on letting him in? Threaded the needle with that pass into the paint. Oh. Off with the layup. Nothing's going his way since the horn. I mean, looks like he used up all his mates in the last quarter. This is his first trip to the line tonight. That free throw, no good. And he sinks the second. Gone one of three from downtown since halftime. Number seven. Can't hit from the elbow. He has just disappeared this quarter, not making a mark at all offensively. And I'm sure he's ready to put this quarter behind him and quickly. Going even five of ten on shot attempts in the third. Three pointer. Really? To go. Gone better than 53 percent from the floor since halftime. Shooting eight of 15. Number six. That's good. He's got 29 points. 
They've been doing a great job of sharing the ball. Excellent display of team play. Steve, I know you love great teamwork. Yeah, so much fun to watch when the ball is moving. Uh, there's kind of a, a, a rhythm to the game. It just happens. The ball moves. Can't do anything with him. Yeah, but it's fun to watch. You know how to time his moves. His shots. up they've got to continue to put pressure on the defense by probing inside that's what's really working for them and when you're doing the job they are inside it takes pressure off the perimeter guys inside number four and he slams that one down you know he's not your typical nba center in terms of height guys but he plays as big as any of them thanks to his incredible bounce ability this is his third trip to the free throw line okay Gotten two thirds of their three pointers to fall tonight. They're six of nine overall. Number seven knocks down the three ball. Eight points for him. Guys, close one here. No team getting a huge advantage. Yeah, that's exactly right. I mean, there have already been five lead changes, but nobody taking control of them. A great matchup. I mean, these two teams really, really match up well talent-wise. I'm enjoying this. Jacks up a three. That's good. There's six points on consecutive three balls. They're finding holes in this defense. It should be easy to correct, though, if you start making the right rotations defensively. And he can't answer. Can't shoot the three. Obviously, they're evenly matched teams on the inside. The rebound numbers are very even. Yeah, I've been impressed with just both teams' energy, just really working hard on the board. Why is it like that, man? One on one here. And he banks in the layup. Man, an even stronger second half. Tremendous efficiency at the offensive end of the floor. Yeah, I know you know about how the basket can seem like it's 10 feet wide when you're in the zone. That's where they are right now. Boy, I tell you what, he's having one of those days where if he takes it, he makes it. We've got 113 left to play in the third. Shot clock at six. Number five. And it's off the back rim, no good. Gotten one of six three-pointers to drop since coming out of the locker room at halftime. Down low, number four. Quick shot there, and it's off target. Good percentage shot, though. That's one they'll take any day of the week. What's your defender? Had the space there, but it's offline. A chance at a two-for-one if they want it. Yeah, no question. If I'm them, I'm definitely going two-for-one. Okay. That one. 16 points for him. Yeah, he didn't have to slow down at all, guys. Just perfectly timed pass there. And it's really. You know, size-wise, this is not a great one-on-one -on -one matchup for him, but he got that shot to go. But you wouldn't know it by how he finished. That's a nice hoop there. Two seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. Number seven gets the 14 foot of the fall. He's got 24. Oh no, you hate to see that. Those are just the kind of errors that can cost you in a game like this. Great defense. He anticipated the play and got there first. Yeah, I think he got there in time. Nice play. For three, there's the bucket. Good. Third quarter, guys, and this has been a neck and neck game. Sure has been. I mean, guys, momentum is hard to come by in this one. I mean, it seems like one team gets the lead and then the other one storms right back. Yeah, that is evidenced by the eight lead changes we've seen so far. And at the close of the third quarter, still a close game, and both teams putting up points in a hurry. The home team leading by just one. And time to step aside quickly, but we'll be back in no time with the start of the fourth quarter. Let's do this. And welcome back to the NBA playoffs as we get ready to continue with this round one matchup. Being 55% from the floor, we're feeling very confident offensively. There's a good screen. 
number five. And the three off target. Yeah, no excuses there. Got a really good look at the basket after being freed up by the pick. We say it all the time. The defense. The was excellent. The result not as good, but good ball movement anyway. Releases. It's good from in time. 25 points in the game. What a display of offense we've seen today, and it's only getting better. Well, both defenses have been on their heels all day, and it's begun to take its toll. Six to shoot. Nice block. And so out of bounds it goes, and they'll keep possession. Nice block, Uzumi. A few possessions into the fourth quarter, just over a minute played. Boy, and that is a bunch of rebounds for a player who's not the biggest guy out there. Number 13 buries it from about 10 feet away. He's got 27, gone 0 of 3 to start the fourth quarter. Clark, they've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a little bit of cotton mouth here. Dry spell for sure. We can do this. We can do this. Just keep that guy from shooting. Launches it. Shots rebound. Pass. Three point try there with a hand in his face. Boy, you'd be lucky to make that one against great defense. Nice. So oh. the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. No good on that. Oh, really? He hits the second from the line. And we're about two minutes into the fourth quarter now. Number six, that's blocked, and he recovers it. A second chance effort, and the layup is good. 19 points in the game. Guys, he's actually indefatigable. He never gives in, never gives up on a play, and that's what it takes to be a great offensive rebounder. You've got to be relentless. And that one's good. You don't want to allow too many of them. That was good, that was good. With the game on the line. Now, this is when defenses have to protect the basket with everything they've got. Force the offense to shoot from the perimeter. There's the pick. There's the three. And the shot is good. Boy, he's making it look really easy right now. I expect him to continue to run the offense through him until the defense makes him change plans. Gets the bucket. All the buckets he's poured in today have put them in a terrific position heading into the stretch. Gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. He had nice move. State free basketball up to that point. That's really the only time he's turned it over so far. Great defense. He anticipated the play and got there first. Yeah, I think he got there in time. Nice play. Number seven. And he bangs it home with one hand. How about that? Breaking out the Statue of Liberty on that dunk. A nice way to pad that lead a little more. Yeah, you got that right. And we're about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter. Lock at six. Number seven. And the lady. Gone five of six from the field to start the fourth quarter on a roll. Number six. Can I? No good there off the double clutch. That's a shot that he sometimes struggles with, but you can't fault him for taking it when the defense backs off like that. Come on, make a move. Number five, and it's good. He made his move. 
He's got 21. I'll tell you what, the first half may have been a little slow, but both clubs really picking up the intensity here in the second. I'll say that's for sure. I mean, things have really ramped up here. Number five. Bang. Nice. He's really picked up where he left off in the first. Gotten just under 45% of their attempts to drop in the fourth. Or of nine. Number seven. That's nice block. Get after it on the glass. Go get those balls. Any extra possessions that you can get, either through steals or Ugh. are so critical in this game. Number eight. Drops in the breakaway layup. Straight to the bucket with a nice head of okay. steam. Well, no reason to slow it down when there's nothing in the way. They set the pick to the paint. Number 13. Nice move. Nice pass. Nice catch and a resounding dunk. Boy, taking it hard to the rack for the big throw down. And give an unofficial assist mark to his teammate for setting the screen that freed him up. Yeah, good call, Kevin. That was really the key to the play. Who's got a ball? Number five hits the jump hook. He's got 23. Going seven of nine from the field down the stretch here in the fourth quarter. Terrific shooting. To the middle, number 13. Nice. Lays it up, and despite of the excellent defense at that. I don't think you can say enough about the quarter he's had. Every one of his attempts has gone down. Nice. Ooh. Inside. Shot clock at six. Number four. Really? It down low. Okay. He's going to have to be much more effective to stay on the floor and to keep his team in the game here in the fourth quarter. There's the pick. Three pointer. Gets a nice goal. play. He's got 22. Okay. Wow. Wow. What a great performance from him. He's hit three in each half. I didn't expect Kagami to be a, a three-point shooter. Number five. Nice block. They'll get another chance. And they're able to recover. From deep three-point range. And they turn over the 24-second buzzer, signaling the shot clock violation. Gone two or three in the fourth quarter from long range. Good shooting so far. Down low. And nice. Right through. He's their go to guy. When he shoots the ball like he has today, that's what the scoreboard usually looks like. Well, and as close as it was, it was a very solid performance. They definitely deserved the victory. Yeah, Steve, I, I think they were the better team. I don't think there's any doubt about that. All right, let's go over to the sideline with Doris Burke. Hi, Kevin. The head coach for the visiting team had some instruction for his guys during that last break. He is not pleased with the score and implored them to try to make a push right now, saying, We don't have time, fellas. If we can't make a dent soon, I'll have to pull the plug. Pretty blunt, Kevin. Back to you. Thanks again, Doris. Number four, number five, and he uses the moves on the way. Twenty-five points in the game. Nice play. So far, going for more of an inside game here in the second half, and I like that. A little smash mouth basketball, taking. Kind of. Oh no. Gonna. He's not there. Oh, he might, he might not be uh, next time. Inside. Boy, they so are I, I was, very oh, there's a particular uh, Rionan player that I wanted to put in, and I know he he's in the, in the game. 
Number four. I might not him. Right away with the yeah, I, I need to check. They this time. Take if he's in. You know, guys, that wouldn't be a bad idea. I mean, give Why did you pass? Catch the breath. You're yeah. Right. yeah, if he's in the game, I'm going to put him on the next game. I'm going to put him in. That was an easy whistle the next for the game. official. He hits the first one, and that will push the lead to double digits. Ooh. Second free throw. No good. A tough break there. Gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. Nice block. And here's the break. Oh, and there's the alley -oop. Boy, he is a strong finisher on the fast break. Yeah, he sure is. He remains in total control, even at full speed. I love that about him. 125 left in the fourth quarter. Back door, back door. From about 19 feet, misses off the right iron. Yeah, that's a low percentage shot right there. Yeah, it sure is. I mean, he's got to be thinking out there a little bit. Make your pass in that situation. Don't force a bad shot. Being at 51%. Really so. 59 seconds really? left to play in the final quarter. So it's been a turbulent quarter. Really rough for him. Nothing going his way. But he seems determined to shoot his way out of it. Six to shoot. A three. Really? No good. He's normally a really big threat from long range. Struggling right now. He might need to mix his game up a little bit. Nice defense. And it's going to be out of bounds. And they retain possession. Wide open. <laughs> what was that? There's 25 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Number 13, and we're going to have a jump ball. It's time. Gone two of five on three point shots since the end of the third quarter. Some days, Clark, everything goes right for a team, and they just did one of those games. Yeah, it certainly was. I mean, these guys played a great all-around basketball. Who's the player of the game? I think it's Fulkida. It Clark Kellogg and Doris Burke, this is Kevin Holland saying thanks for tuning in to the Eastern Conference quarterfinals here on 2K Sports. Now let's check out our Jordan player of the game. That's Fulkida. Yeah, there's this background music, guys. So I'm just gonna um, keep on talking here. So, so yeah, Fukuda is actually one of uh, a very what well, is a very volatile player for me. He it, he needs to get going so that he can perform well. He needs to be kept on. Uh, he he needs to be uh, encouraged all the time so he can play. Because if, if ever every time I remember when the coach. Uh, I actually benched him. He got angry and wasn't really playing that well anymore. But once he's being praised, he actually gets better. And it's a very good um, uh, compliment player for Sendo. That's the reason why he was they were able to move Sendo to point guard um, in the uh, Kainan game. So let's see. There the game. I'm just, just going to look at... His highlights for a bit. Yeah. Nice pass. I really didn't realize or didn't know that uh, Ikegami can shoot threes that consistently. So that's good to know. He's a 3 and D player. 
between two defenders. Okay. And uh, Uzumi is a beast inside. You know, defense and everything. Blocking everything that comes in. It's really good. I'm not sure who's... I think it's Kainan versus Shoyo on the next game. I'm not really sure. But I... I I want to play as Shoyo actually. It's not that I don't want to, but it's like, yeah, I I, I want to try it. I want to try it. Uh, I want to try it during Sho uh, as Shoyo. So I'm gonna go out. So Toyotama High has been or have been eliminated. So yeah. So I'm gonna try. Let me see what's the next uh, matchup is. So that last game, where is he? Joku, Sano. Uh huh. It's not even updated. But it's, it's here. So, yeah, we have Kainan versus Shoyo. And I want to use Shoyo rather than Kainan because I know Kainan has a, a pretty good team. So I'm going to use it. And it's it's okay with, with me if Shoyo gets defeated, but here uh, Shoyo actually has the higher um, seating. I didn't realize that. Okay, so guys, uh, thank you again uh, for being with me, helping me, um, uh, and joining me, and helping me grow my channel. Uh, as I said, I'm doing this for the fun of it. I'm doing this uh, to share my playthroughs. I know I'm not a perfect player. I I know I'm I'm not the best at it, but I want to I want to I, I want to enjoy. I want to share it with all of you guys at the same time. If ever you, as I mentioned, if you have any good critiques for me, just tell me because I'll be more than happy to read them. I'll be more than happy to uh, to I'll, I'll be more appreciate uh, or actually I will appreciate more. That's the better phrase for it. If uh, you can t give me pointers or anything like that, and if you can give me recommendations for future games, because uh, um, actually um, I'm I have my list of new and old games. So oh, and if I say new, it's like within the past what year or so. Um, but if I say old, it would be at least five years or older. So and I'm 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 planning to. I actually have a game in mind, and, and it might I might make a record or make a video of it uh, this week. Hopefully, I can. And if I do, I'm gonna uh, I, I want to enjoy it because I um I want to play retro games or, or old games because um I've enjoyed those type of games or I enjoyed that particular game, and uh, I kind of forgot the the story already because of how long or how yeah how far off I've already played it, so. Hopefully, I can do that because I, I basically I want to upload one video per day, Monday to Friday. So that's five videos, videos every day. No, no, five vi videos every week. So, uh, guys, uh, okay. So that that's uh, that's uh, the end of me blabbering. So, guys, thank you again, as I said, uh, for being with me here today uh, with the video. Thank you. Um, if if you're just new here, please do drop a like, subscribe. Um, please help me grow my channel. And I guess we're going to catch you guys on the next one. As always, everybody chill. This is V. And all of you, peace out.